6. A True Friend And so the wheel of time turned round in Serena's simple life. The people of the palace took care of her. With kindness, they were rife. But nothing compared to her best friend Silas, the prince with kindness divine. He spent the majority of his time with her, and their friendship continued to entwine. This is a strange new world I'm trying to know, but I've got to give up and go with the flow. I'm not swimming in the ocean now. I want to love you, even if I don't know how. Inseparable was the word for them. No matter where they were at, hunting, dancing, going on picnics, or just sitting down for a chat, Silas and Serena discovered the world, adventuring onward together. And even though Serena was dumb and speechless, in his company, she felt she was clever. This is a strange new world I'm trying to know, but I've got to give up and go with the flow. I'm not swimming in the ocean at all. With you, I'm big even when I'm small. Serena learned of Creator with Silas, and how he dealt with man. Every Sunday they attended church, and though Serena couldn't say Amen, she absorbed the teaching taught to her and loved the stories of his love. Even if she could not sing his praises, in her heart she praised God above. This is a strange new world I'm trying to know, but I've got to give up and go with the flow. I'll never swim in the ocean again. I am no longer a mermaid. I am a woman. Hi, I'm Joshua David Ling, and I'm resurrecting epic poetry for nerds like you. Come join me at joshuadavidling.com or just about anywhere on social media.